the way we raise our children, how we go to school, how we go to work. So um, you can normally see that in people's, in black artists' work. You can kind of look at their background and tell a little bit of their struggle. To be black and an artist is to share a common theme with a select group of others. Just ask two local artists we are about to introduce you to. And though they were born nearly two centuries apart, they have a lot in common. They sure do. And celebrating Black History Month, WCPO 9 News reporter Whitney Miller shows us how one man's art paved the way for the other. This mural is called Together We Win. It's supposed to be a blending, a gelling of cultures. Brandon Hawkins is still in awe of his larger than life mural that adorns the walls of St. Francis de Sales School in Walnut Hills. Kind of wanted to involve the Catholic Church in terms of the way that usually you'll see stained glass. It's a mural with a message of hope, a common theme among Hawkins' work. You see it here in this We Shall Overcome mural and in his work this past summer as a project manager for the Black Art Speaks Black Lives Matter mural in front of Cincinnati City Hall. To be able to be a part of the activism in the way that, you know, we were in terms of our creativity and our art. Hawkins says he got that drive from his father and his Black Panther mother, who were big on racial equality. He raised us up a certain way to want to be, uh, you know, involved with activism. Just as his work gained attention during a time of civil unrest, so did the work of Robert S. Duncanson. He was the best known African-American painter in the years surrounding the Civil War. He was based in Cincinnati. Last month, First Lady Dr. Jill Biden selected Duncanson's painting, Landscape with Rainbow, to be featured in the U.S. Capitol. Duncanson's work is permanently on display at the Taft Museum of Art, where he was commissioned in the 1800s to create a mural on the museum's walls. At one point, those were unfortunately covered up with a wallpaper. So by the time the Tafts came in here, they had never seen it. And so today, after many restorations and removing the layers of wallpaper, that fortunately saved those for the future public today to uh, admire. Today, Duncanson's artwork lives on at the Capitol, a reminder for Hawkins on how influential black art can be. And to be from Cincinnati, you kind of have a little bit of a chip on your shoulder. <laughs> uh, people don't think we're going to do um, you know, the, the greatest all the time, but I think to have his work shown there and then for us on the Black Lives Matter mural, uh, Black Art Speaks showed out. In Walnut Hills, Whitney Miller, WCPO 9 News.